YouTube what's going on everyone hey uh, I haven't been around in a while so I just wanted to do a little video update of some things that's going on wow we know it's pretty bad and uh, in my neighborhood man everyone is bored as hell right now so it has become like a little mini city out here where kids are just running rampant I mean you got little mini pools being placed out skateboarding bike riding rollerblading anything you can think of oh shit sorry about that guys I don't have my normal setup right now so but uh, anything you can think of people are doing it right now just because um they're bored and they want to get out the house and do something active so it's very interesting to see how everything is unfolding and taking place during this crazy time but I do want to say this man um, right now I'm not doing any video blogs as far as bike riding right now um, I'll talk about that in a second but I just wanted to kind of ride around Orlando real quick and show you guys what's going on um, the area that I live in is a very congested area where we get a lot of tourists um, it's it's by the mall of millennia area and so I went out did a quick run this morning and for a Sunday it was absolutely nobody out and about which is a good thing but to actually see no cars on Millennia Boulevard in the Conroy intersection no cars at the mall you know just driving down the main two busiest streets I personally think in Orlando just because it's so many tourist shops and areas around here is surreal it, it's really really surreal to see how empty it is even right now if you've been paying attention you haven't seen any car drive-bys of yet now there are people out and about don't get me wrong but it's um it's very interesting man v very interesting um i'm glad to see that people are, are kind of taking heed to the stay at home order um as of now but that wasn't the case even when the order was first started um people were not taking that thing serious at all like absolutely at all and i was getting frustrated and mad myself because people in my neighborhood were having like house parties in the backyard with multiple people people like still gathered around you know whether they're they're out and about um trying to hit whatever stores or restaurants that they can it, it was almost like no one took this thing serious last week on Sunday I drove past the gas station and it was like a, a, a party out there off of John Young Parkway and it had to be at least 300 people out there seriously it, it was it was like um like spring break at a gas station everyone just crowded around with the video cameras dancing music playing and it, it's just like people aren't taking this shit serious and so now it seems like a little bit more of a um, you know a wake-up call for a lot of people and so I'm, I'm happy to see that because I really don't think this thing is going to stop until people realize it has to be contained like we, we can't the more we're out and about the more that we have um, you know a, a, a high chance of catching it or spreading it as well now um, I'm just gonna do a quick video of, of two very busy intersections and I'm going to actually turn the camera around and show you guys here this right here is uh, Millennia Millennia Boulevard which is a very busy intersection and you do see a few cars out and about so I'm not saying there's no one out driving today that's not the case but as you can tell it's not that many people out and about right now the road that I'm on would be so backed up that there's no way in the world I could drive like to these few lights in less than 10 seconds this road would be so congested it would probably take me 30 minutes to get to the Conroy not 30 minutes but at least 20 minutes to get to um, this light up here this intersection now you do see there are cars there are cars out here so I'm not saying there's there's nobody out and about but it's usually way more packed like way more packed than this on a Sunday um, that's the model millennia straight ahead 
and there's a breakfast spot up there, Kiki's uh, breakfast. That spot right there on a Sunday, you you you. I mean, you're probably gonna have to wait almost an hour to an hour and a half to get in there on Sundays. And literally, there's no one over there. If you look at all the the parking lots, you know, at all these businesses and and stores and restaurants, of course they're all shut down. I think they got to go orders or whatever, but. I mean, it's just hardly anybody. And I know the, the few cars that you do see, you're, you're probably like, oh yeah, there's, you know, I see a good number of cars out and about. This, this is nothing. This is nothing compared to what this place looks like on a Sunday. Um, and then earlier this morning when I went out to run before it got too hot, it was, it was less, it was probably half the cars you see right now. And so, um, so yeah, it's, it's been interesting, man. Uh, so, as I talk, I just wanted to, to kind of give you guys a view of of the update of, of my area and Millennia area. Um, I'm going to tr- kind of drive past the um, the local, uh, what do you call them, clearance stores and kind of show you how empty it is over there. Now, the Mall of Millennia is empty. Like, just to see that whole parking lot completely empty on a Sunday. For whatever weekend, the weekends are always the busiest days. But around here, Sunday is definitely the busiest day around this area and it's empty like you can tell you can look over there there's absolutely not a car that's the macy side um but it's 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 unreal i hope everyone out there is is being safe and taking precautions using common sense which i'm sure uh everyone is but i do know there are a lot of people that aren't um even friends of mine and people earlier in the week who are still texting me about traveling and wanting to go places and take risk about you know flying to certain places and I'm just like it's just not worth it it's just not worth it even if the flights are low even if it is seems like a good idea right now the best thing to do is just chill out stay home and try to let this thing pass over as much as possible so quick story time real quick and if you guys who follow me you know that around Christmas time I did a couple of videos and I was really sick okay I got sick twice in December I got the flu early December and then I got something else around Christmas time now I've had the flu three times in my lifetime the first time I got it was in college the second time I got it was um, I was probably in my 30s and I'm in my 40s now early 40s and so I got it the beginning of December this year and uh, it was really bad like anytime you get the flu it, it's 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 a it's the worst feeling in the world only thing that's worse as far as a sickness that I've ever gotten in the flu is probably food poisoning I got that a couple of times as well and that's bad too but the flu is the flu is pretty bad now fast forward around December I believe it was the 19th or maybe even the 15th I caught something that was like the flu times three and to this day I don't know what it was I I can't sit here and say for sure exactly what I had but I know it was not the standard flu I also know that it was not a higher strand of the flu whatever I had was a lot worse than that And so as time has went by when it comes to this coronavirus and everything that's been coming out, all of the data, all of the statistics, all the symptoms and all of this stuff, I look back at what I had and what my symptoms were. And let me explain to you how it started. When I first got sick around Christmas, because it was the last time I got sick, I first started getting cold symptoms, you know, running noses, drainage scratchy throat things like that within about 24 hours it hit harder than what your normal flu would hit and feel like the first thing that started happening to me which was unusual this is um oak ridge road by the way we're gonna take a stroll down here i'm gonna show you the outlets see what they're looking like right now but um anyway back to the story uh so when i got sick I uh wow I'm sorry look just going over this hill right here 
and seeing absolutely not a car. Look, look at this parking lot. The movie theater, of course, is closed. This is the outlets to my right. This is the premium outlets off of International Boulevard, completely deserted. But to see this road and only have like two cars on it, well, I'm the third car, crazy, crazy. There's at least normally 200 cars on this road on a Sunday. It, I know it doesn't really seem surreal to you guys, but th this is like absolutely crazy right here. Crazy, crazy. This is, the International Drive, if you don't know, is like tourist town. This is where all the tourists come to shop. Well, not, I mean, there's other places tourists come to shop, but this is the primary area. And this area in particular, right here, is booming every day, 24 hours a day, 365. But that outlet right there is crazy. This Nike store, which Nike has closed as well, I've never seen it empty unless it's like, three o'clock in the morning or something on there like crazy it's crazy man nobody out here it's a good thing though but anyway back to my story so now um and actually what i'm gonna do is just park right quick um finish telling you guys the story because it's an interesting one so let me find some shade right quick just to park and finish this up uh, yeah here we go just kind of sit in the shade right quick I hope the camera well I don't know it might be too dark so let me get some sunlight all right okay guys so here's the thing excuse me for the moving camera right quick I just don't have my normal thing that I use to keep it in to keep it steady so in December when I started getting these symptoms I had a regular cold within 24 hours I had very I had a very hard time breathing I had chest pains um, I've never had that before when when I had the flu um, and that lasted for about a day and a half the chest pains when the chest pains disappeared I got some another symptom that I'm normally not used to getting when it comes to getting the flu. And I actually told my doctor about this as well, which is um, numbness in my legs. I've never had that by being physically sick, like a cold or flu sickness. My legs were numb. And that lasted for about three to four days. Um, I wasn't sneezing as much, I wasn't coughing as much, but there were times where I did sneeze and cough, but not, not as much. The rest of it was a very high fever. At one particular night, I got up to 104, and that was the worst night of it, the night that the temperature got up to 104, and I, at that point, I did get a little scared. Um, the sickness lasted for about two weeks, and then it took another week for me to just recover, to be able to get out the house, put on clothes, and travel because I felt that bad, and I didn't have the strength to do that. Um, another symptom that was very strange that I've never had before was these throbbing head shocks, and it lasted at least three or four days, and I mean just throbbing. I can't explain what they feel like. Um, I looked it up and Googled it. There is a terminology for it, but it's very, very painful. It's not like a migraine. It, it, only thing I can describe the way it feels is if like literally your brain is getting like a mild shock through it and it pounds and um, it's irritating and it hurts at the same time. And it's just very unpleasant and comfortable to ha uncomfortable to have. Um, and after that, all the other flu symptoms, you know, just weakness, sweating, cold, you know, um, then, oh, I'm sorry. The other thing that happened was the taste. Um, I did lose taste uh, for about four to five days as well. Everything I ate tasted horrible from chicken noodle soup, some anything with anything with flavor in it tasted bad. If it was a drink with flavor, it didn't taste right. It was just strange. The next morning after the night that I had 104 temperature, I hate taking medicine. I hate going to the doctors because doctors never find out what's wrong with me. And so uh, I got a little scared that night because that night I didn't think I was going to make it. 
I truly woke up, started praying because I didn't feel as though, I've, I've never felt that bad before. And I've been sick and felt pretty bad before, but it was on the whole nother level. And I just remember waking up, thanking God I was still here and, and alive. And so I went to the doctor the next day. They did all kind of tests on me after I told her what my symptoms were. Now you gotta remember, this was right before Christmas. So they did a blood test, they did urine test, they did x-rays, they did the flu test, and they did the test where they actually stick that thing through your nose and it feels like it's touching your brain. Whatever that thing is called, they did that test as well. And I wanna say it was one more test that they did. Everything came back fine, except for the test basically came back that I had the flu. So I told my doctors of my symptoms and she was like, well, the stuff that you're telling me isn't what a normal flu is like. So she said, obviously, you must have a stronger strand of the flu. And I said, I must have because this isn't your normal flu. I just had the flu in December. I know what the flu is like and this isn't your normal flu. And so basically, um, she asked me, did I get the flu shot? I said, no, I didn't get the flu shot this year. And so she goes, well, don't worry about it. All of my employees, which she had, I think like 15 employees, she said got the flu shot and all of them ended up getting sick this year with the flu. I said, okay, well, yeah, that's why I don't take it anyway. But looking back at it now, and of course at that time, the coronavirus wasn't as bad as it is now. And there was no way to test for it at that time. I'm gonna say, that's what I had. And I'm not just saying it because of the media. I'm not just saying it because, you know, of, of everything that's going on right now. If you look at the symptoms of what this virus has, I truly believe that's what I had in December. Strand 19. Um, and I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could have had a worse version of the flu. But I've never had a flu where I've had chest pains and hard time breathing. I never had the flu where I lost taste. I never had the flu where I could not feel my legs. My legs were literally numb for three or four days. I never had a flu of 104 temperature. Um, just some of the symptoms that, oh, and the throbbing of, of my head, I've never had it that bad either for that long period of time. So I'm gonna say that's what I think I had. And whether it's not, it might not be, I hope it wasn't, but I truly think that's what it was. And so because of that, um, I guess the good news if, is, is if that is what I had, I'm supposedly now immune to it, supposedly. If it's not what I had, then you know, it is what it is. But um, I'm just gonna say this, I don't wish that on anyone, not even my worst enemy. I don't wish that what I went through in December around Christmas I don't wish on anybody and if you knew what it was like everybody would take this thing way more serious than what they would because I'm telling you there were there were a couple of days where I'd rather just be dead than 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 what than go through what I went through during the Christmas time when I was sick it was it was that bad man it was it was that bad and so um, all I can do is tell everyone to be safe. You know, this thing spreads like just by, by touch, you know, and I think one of the, the best movies to watch to kind of get an idea of how something like this can spread is the movie Contagion because Contagion actually shows this whole thing happening just by touch, just by picking up a glass and then touching a doorknob and then touching this and then touching that and, and just going from there. And of course, the more crowded area you are, the more people you're around, the faster it spreads, the faster you're gonna get it. And so it is something scary and something to keep in mind and to be mindful of. Another thing I've been going through, man, is I know a lot of people who've been losing jobs in my immediate family. Um, I'm down now to one house income. Um, and you know, it's, it's gonna be tough times you know, moving ahead, just hoping that this doesn't last longer than at the max four months, maybe six. But if it lasts longer than that, yeah, I might not even have this channel anymore. I might have to sell all of my bikes. You know, it's 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 gonna be um it's gonna be tough. So, you know, we got through it through 9-11.
was the last time we had a crisis like this and so I just hope we don't have to you know go through it for for a whole long period of time so to all my subscribers out there to everyone out there that's listening or watching this video um, I'm okay I've been quarantined I've been staying in the house for the most part you know besides you know um, picking up food here and there and running outside um, or going to the grocery store uh, my job I, I work for the school district so um, I'm now having to work from home starting this upcoming week um, I have been going to work this week we have been reporting to work and so um, you know this week I will be working from home so it'll be a little bit safer in that environment um, I'm just gonna kind of take things easy and wait this thing out like we all are doing um, all I can just basically say is I, I hope everyone is safe out there I hope everyone's using precautions and doing the right thing washing their hands you know staying the six feet doing all the the common sense things that we're supposed to do during this type of ep epidemic but um, but yeah other than that guys I'm, I'm safe though I'm good I'm, I appreciate every you know the few of you who checked on me um, just checking in I really appreciate that you know who you are and I just have to just say man just be safe out here and definitely definitely use those precautions and um, you know next next time I'm on the trail I try to do a, a, a mountain bike video soon if I get the time to do it but right now I, I don't know when that'll be it's just so much going on um, and it's hot it's like 96 degrees here in Orlando these past few days so I don't I don't know when I'm gonna be able to hit a trail anytime soon but I will be back when I can until then I may be doing other type of reviews um, you know on some other products that I've that I've recently picked up I've been selling a lot of things as well just to try to make some extra income still selling a lot of shoes so that's been been hitting it off pretty well and I actually sold uh, one of my bikes I sold the Colorado um, one of them I remember I had two of them so I made some money on that as well uh, but we'll see how it goes from here so other than that I don't want to keep this video too long be safe everyone I'll catch you on the next video